Ibrahim had grown old and was still without a child. For decades, he yearned for an heir to carry on his legacy of monotheism. Even as an elderly man, he implored God with renewed fervor, saying, Rabbi habli min as salihin O my Lord, grant me a righteous child. God replied, I shall give you a forbearing boy. The answer to Ibrahim's prayer came through the womb of Hajar. She bore him a son named Ismail. Ismail السلام, grew up in Arabia and spent his formative years in Bekka, which was the ancient name for the city of Mecca. He lived in close proximity to God's sacred house. Although God had saved the Kaaba from the deluge in Noah's time, weather and neglect had worn it down. God had entrusted Ibrahim and Ismail with the task of rebuilding the Kaaba upon the foundation left from Adam's time. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Holy Quran says, وَإِذْ يَرْفَعُ إِبْرَاهِيمُ الْقَوَاعِدَ مِنَ الْبَيْتِ وَإِسْمَعِيلِ رَبَّنَا تَقَبَّلْ مِنَّا إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ السَّمِيعُ الْعَلِيمُ And remember when Ibrahim and Ismail were raising the foundations of the house, saying, Our Lord, accept it from us. Truly you are the all-hearing, the all-knowing. One practical lesson we learn from the story of Ismail is the role of youth in society. It was God's plan for his house to be constructed not just by an elderly man like Ibrahim, but by a youth like Ismail. The religion of Islam invites youth not to be passive members of their communities, but to be like Ismail, to be stakeholders and active participants in the building of their communities. The status of a pious youth is so great that the Holy Prophet ﷺ in a famous hadith says, فَضْلُ الشَّابِّ الْعَابِدِ الَّذِي تَعَبَّدَ فِي صَبَاهِ عَلَى الشَّيْخِ الَّذِي تَعَبَّدَ بَعْدَمَا كَبُرَتْ سِنُّهُ كَفَضْلِ الْمُرْسَلِينَ عَلَى سَائِرَ النَّاسِ The Holy Prophet says, The superiority of a young worshipper who worships God in his youth over an old man who worships after he has grown old is as the superiority of the prophets over the rest of people. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to inspire our youth to be active participants and stakeholders in our communities and to follow in the footsteps of Ismail alayhi salam wa sallallahu ala muhammadin wa alihi al-tahirin.